What is going on, everyone? Welcome back. This is a cool knife that was sent in by a really cool guy, Dave from This Old Sword Blade Reviews. Uh, he has been a super fantastic supporter of the channel and uh, has become really a good friend. We we chat a lot and, you know, I think he's just a really kind of a pillar of the knife community. Always willing to help. He's gifted a few knives into the channel. Um, just just been a good guy all around and I really appreciate all of his help and support uh, as I've started my channel. So let's talk about this Artisan Cutlery Centauri. Uh, it's carbon fiber. It's Damascus. So you know already, those of you that know anything about me, I'm going to like it. All right. And this is not an exception. I mean, beautiful blade, really nicely done carbon fiber, titanium backspace, um, titanium loxide, nice titanium clip. The clip is a little tight. It's kind of one of my only little gripes is that the pocket clip is just a little bit tight, but it still works. Got a serial number there, and it says Damascus on it. And uh, this is a Ray Laconico design. And I really like where they put that information, right? A lot of times you're going to see a big logo of the designer on the front or the back of the blade. And I think that's a very cool, classy place to put it because you're never going to see it. Like... Unless you're looking for it, you don't really notice it. I handled this knife for a little bit, and I didn't even look that closely at it before I, you know, noticed it, like, hours later, right? I mean, I just, it just didn't, it didn't pop out at me. This thing runs great. It's a front flipper, and front flippers, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I go back and forth on the front flipper thing. Uh, some are really awesome. Some are just kind of eh. Uh, this one works really well. Now, there is one little thing. Depending on how I go to close it and where my fingers are, because this tang is up a little bit, it can, when closing, interact with my middle finger over here. Um, if you can see that it so it just every once in a while my finger will be in the way and will actually inhibit the blade from going down closing other times it just is really going to rub past my finger not a big deal okay that's a personal thing I don't have enough front flippers I don't carry them often enough to really let it bother me I'm sure if I carried them a lot and used them all of the time, then I would just know where to put my fingers. Total operator error, but something to just be aware of, so to speak. So let's talk about some specs really quick. It's four and three quarter inches long, eight and one eighth inch overall. Blade is 3.5 inches with a cutting edge of 3.4. Um, Damascus blade, 0.124 thick blade, 0.417 overall. Runs on ceramic bearing, so it is super smooth. It fires really well every single time. Doesn't drop shut, but it's nice and controlled. And that is exactly, exactly how I like it. This is probably one of the perfectest closing and actions that I, that I just like. Okay, uh, and it weighs in at 3.7 ounces, so it's super light and super comfortable and really a thin profile. Feels really good in the hand and all around just a great knife. Now, these are still available. They're about 199 bucks on Amazon, give or take. I will put a link down below to my uh, Amazon affiliate link just in case you are looking for one. Um, here it is next to the Sharpie. The... Spider Coat Delica. It 
the another one that uh, Dave kind of turned me on to was Kubi. The two three KB two three seven is this one. Um, a little bit shorter, but and much thicker. This is absolutely thicker. Um, but it's a flipper, not a front flipper. Just di different knife. And because we're talking carbon fiber, we got to pull out the Hellraiser P series. Carbon fiber is done a little bit differently, which is fine. There's a lot of ways to do carbon fiber, but very, just done really well. I mean, there's a bit more contouring on the Hellraiser from the kind of side angle, if I could hold these, you know, accurately. Um, so a lot more contouring and profiling of the Hellraiser, but this is still super comfortable in the hand. Like it's not hard edges or anything like that. It feels really good in the hand. So thanks Dave for uh, loaning this in for sure. And I will put a link to Dave's channel down below. So go check him out. There'll also be a link to this knife on Amazon if it's something that you're looking for. Um, but other than that, have a great day, guys. I do appreciate your time. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.